Welcome, and today in iPads in Schools, we're going to look at the application Keynote and how to use it effectively with our students in class. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up Keynote. And if you have more than one student uh, using your iPads in Schools, you'll notice that it always opens up basically in the last person's work that's um, been using Keynote. So the first thing we need to educate our students to do is at the top left hand corner you'll see the word presentation. So we want to tap that to go back to the gallery and, and show all the different pieces of work in Keynote. At the top left hand corner you'll see that plus sign, the cross, which is most of the time um, the symbol to create a new document on the iPad. So we'll press that once and you can see there that our best option there will be create um, a presentation, a new one. So we'll hit that. Now this is the important part. It's actually quite important because we're going to choose a theme. Um, I've found that um, the Harmony one and the Craft one down the bottom are really good ones to use with small children. So we'll use the Harmony one for this one. Um, it's nice and light and the text that comes up nice and clear and the font that's used is really clear as well. So Today we're using um, Keynote to look at pages of a book um, that we've been reading called My Prep Year and we're looking at the photos within the book and we're looking at writing a sentence to go uh, with each of the pages as a bit of a retell I guess, a reading comprehension retell. So it's very very easy to use the Keynote app. Basically I touch the picture once and it gives me some options, cut, paste, delete and so forth. I want to replace because I've been able to save a few photos into my photo gallery. So I'll hit replace and it goes automatically to my camera roll. So I'll go to my camera roll and I'll select one of the pictures from the book that I have used. Now if you've got a book and you want to take a snapshot of one of the pages, you hold the on off switch and the home button and you press them simultaneously together and it will take a snapshot of whatever's on your iPad, a little hot tip there. So we've brought a picture in and now we want to double tap to edit the text. So we'll double tap and the students now have some options. So in this case it'll be a prep student. Um, these are Sam's oops, clothes. Um, and you can see there it's very, very easy to change the text. And down the bottom there we've got a double tap. We might just delete that because we don't need it. Um, when we want to create a new page, you'll see there's a little plus sign at the bottom of the left hand corner. So when we press that, it gives us some options. Now, these are important options because we want to select a slide that's going to be great a great template for our next page. In my case we just want to do the same sort of thing. So we'll press the first slide that comes up which is like the home slide. We'll tap on that once. We'll replace it with our next picture. Um, Sam and double tap. This time it's Sam and his family. Ready to leave. And you'll see that the text gets smaller as it goes along um, so that it fits in. Uh, we'll tap that just once and we'll delete that bottom bit. And we can keep adding pages very, very quickly and easily. And before you know it, your prep students will have um, a range of different slides over the course of a term that displays their work, which is fantastic. I won't go into some of the um, advanced features at the top because I'm kind of dealing with prep and grade one and we don't want to get into it too much. We want to focus on the content more than the technology itself. There is one more thing I'd like to show you. At the top left hand corner we want to press presentations and we want to go back to the what I call the gallery page of all the student work and I'll tell you why in a minute. So we'll press that once. It will save automatically and you can see that it says presentation one. If we put our finger on the word presentation one and hold it for a second and then release, it gives us the option of saving our work. So I'll save this as Mr. Hamilton.
Now, if you've got multiple students using the same iPad, make sure that you get it to name them as their name first. It's just a great way of making sure that we don't lose any work. Uh, in all my dealings with iPads and multiple students using the same iPad, we've never had any lost work because it's an education process. We want to make sure that the students as low as prep are actually saving in the right manner. And you can see there that I tap on that, ready to go, and I'm ready to alter my keynote and add to it and make it grow as the term goes on. So a very quick tutorial on how to use Keynote, uh, the Keynote app on an iPad. We'll do another Keynote um, tutorial later on looking at some of these brushes and the different um, advanced tools in Keynote in part two.